All right, y'all. I'm uh, making this video for any of y'all that have a, a DD15 engine, you know, EPA 2010. This is in a uh, 2011 Freightliner Cascadia. I saw a couple of videos when I was having this problem, which was a coolant leak. I saw a couple of videos where guys were actually showing pictures of coolant coming down, you know toward the back of the block like if I had all of my cladding removed here you would have seen the uh, the block and it would have had a stream of uh, antifreeze coming down and it looked like the coolant would have been coming from behind the water manifold behind this uh, EGR cooler well I couldn't find any kind of solution when I was looking online so I initially uh, I replaced the couplers that are on the EGR cooler and that didn't solve the problem. And also, I ended up having one of my hoses bust. And if any of you guys have a problem like that, go in here and check out. Take your take your um, your air intake assembly off, the air filter, the air cleaner assembly, and all that. Remove all of that, so you can actually get a good look at your. Because you have a massive, you have a water manifold back here that has all your heater hoses and everything else coming off of it. So you need to kind of if you, if you ever have a massive coolant leak check those hoses first just to be sure um because they all come off on this side of the block and you know here and here and they all connect up under the right up under the air cleaner so check those first and then um if that's not your issue because I, I changed uh, the hose that had a leak in it and so on and so forth you still need to take this whole air cleaner assembly off and what you're going to find is you have a line a coolant line that actually goes from your your doser so it goes from the uh, doser injector all the way up and it comes into the back of this water manifold that's behind your EGR cooler and it's got an aluminum fitting on it and if that fitting gets worn out because I mean it's only it, it gets loose vibration if any of your if any of your connectors because you're gonna have two or three um, tab bolt connectors to actually keep that hose rigid and if any of them come out and the hose, the metal line starts to move, it'll get play in it, and it'll start to leak coolant. And it'll leak coolant under pressure, so you're going to be losing quite a bit of coolant. And that will put that coolant stream running down there on um, toward the back of your block. So you have to pull off. In order to change that line, you're going to have to take off the uh, air cleaner assembly. you got to move the, remove the bracket up under there that has all your heater hoses coming off of it. You're also going to have to remove your downpipe from below behind your turbocharger because you can't this hose is already pre-bent it has all the bends in it and you're not going to be able to get it in there without removing the uh the down tube from your turbocharger you're going to now remember this 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 tube you have a clamp on there right behind the uh, compound turbocharger but you also have two bolts that go in toward the back of the block with the bell housing you're going to think that you could just take that uh take that clamp off and remove the clamp from the back of the the bellows going back to your one box but you're actually going to have to remove those two bolts too you can't see them they're kind of blind bolts so in order to do the job right of course you take all this cladding off heat shielding off you're going to, have to remove your fender you're going to, have to remove your step and your fairing so you can get access to your uh, your bellows and the other flex pipe that's up under the truck you pull all that off, you take the bolts out the back, and then you can finally get enough access to be able to move that pre-bent aluminum line into place. And, uh, you know, that should solve the problem, solve the leak. So, I uh, just posted this video because when I was looking for a solution to the problem I was having, no one had anything talking about it. Everybody was talking about it, it was a head gasket, it was this, it's that. It, you know, you're, if, if, that, if that line leaks, it's going to look like it's coming from right there behind that water manifold so you're going to see that coolant dripping down right there behind your exhaust manifold and it will leak from behind the water manifold and it'll come down the side of that head and down the side of the block so it can be a little bit deceiving so i just recommend checking that out first and the only way to really check it is to take this air cleaner assembly off and run the truck and see if you have a leak under pressure now that's it i hope this video can be uh help to someone who needs it and uh, we'll uh, post some other stuff later on. You guys take care and be safe out there on the road.